Welcome back, my name is Michael and today we are going to be breaking down Machine Gun Kelly's total body workout for men's health and redesign it so that you can do it right at home. And we are starting right now. Let's be real with each other though. Machine Gun Kelly isn't exactly the epitome of fitness, but he says he's gotta stay in shape for his stage performance and I totally get that. So let's take a look at his routine to see what's working and how it can be improved so you can actually see results while doing it at home. Machine Gun opens up with a dynamic warm up. Quite frankly, his warm up is the best part of this routine in my opinion. Starting off with a dynamic stretch as opposed to static stretching gets blood flowing to the muscles and the joints all greased up and ready for some good range of motion. I actually really like this warm up routine his trainer designed for him. He's got his routine programmed with 30 seconds of abductor rock back with T-spine rotation, say that 10 times fast, do that for three sets on each side, follow that up with staggered leg squats, 10 reps per side, 20 regular squats are just fine here as well. The staggered leg is just a slightly more athletic position. Followed by 10 push-up shoulder taps. This is more of a main exercise than a warm-up, but we'll let it slide. Finish it up with a three-way hip flexor dynamic stretch. Nine reps per position for each leg. I love this stretch. This one feels really good. The one thing I wanna say about warm-ups is that you should do them until you are warm. He's got a set amount of time or reps for each exercise in his warm up. This isn't a bad place to start, but sometimes you just feel a little more stiff on some days and a little less than others. Sometimes you only need a five minute warm up. Sometimes you need 10 minutes. I advise that you learn to listen to your body as much as possible and warm up each body part until it feels loose and ready to go. When in doubt, just do a little extra. Now he starts off his actual workout with a staggered stance deadlift. Not sure why he does all these staggered stances. They're no more effective than a Romanian deadlift or a single leg deadlift, which is something I think you might opt for instead if you're doing this at home. If you've got a couple heavy kettlebells or dumbbells at home, this can work fine. But if you don't, you can take a bag or a backpack, fill it up with some books or weights and use that to perform some single leg deadlifts to increase the tension for each leg. He does three sets, eight reps per side. Now, if that's as many reps as you can do with the weight that you have, perfect. But if you can do more, do more. You don't get stronger unless you overload the muscles. The last rep should be really hard to do. That's a good rule of thumb for most resistance training exercises in general. Next, he moves on to the incline bench press. Great exercise for upper body strength and development. And he's obviously making a joke when he says 250 pounds each. But I love that his trainer tries to make him seem a little bit cooler by saying that they're only 90 pounds each. These are only 90s a piece. Uh-uh, there's no way those things are 90 pounds each. Not with that frame. He's also repping those out way too easily for them to be that heavy, which is also why you should probably be doing more than eight reps a set if he's trying to get stronger. If you don't have an incline bench at home, then decline push-ups are your friend. Three sets of as many as you can do if you want to get stronger. After that, he's got five rounds of medicine ball throws and some boxing. Not sure why these are put together in the same exercise other than it looks kind of cool. So this exercise causes all kinds of problems if you're at home. If you do happen to have a medicine ball lying around, then you're either going to destroy your wall or piss off your neighbors doing this, one of the two, or both, who knows. Instead, grab that backpack and do 30 seconds of twisted side lunges to activate the core in the same way. And because most of us don't have punching bags at home, Follow things up with 30 seconds of a jab, uppercut, hook routine. Five rounds of this should have your heart rate up pretty nicely. The last exercise he has on his routine are the jammer rows, which will be targeting the back. The back is probably one of the hardest muscle groups to hit effectively at home. So I'm gonna leave you with a few options depending on what you might have available. If you have a pull-up bar at home, just do pull-ups. Those are great. If you don't have one, they're somewhat inexpensive, 30 to 40 bucks on Amazon for one that locks into your doorway. Great investment if you wanna target your back at home. If you don't have a pull-up bar or don't want one, you're gonna to have to get a little more creative. If you have blankets or old scarves lying around, then take two and tie a knot in one end of each blanket or scarf. Throw it over the top of the door and shut it so it's anchored in place. This is a great way to get rows in using your body weight. Your angle to the ground will dictate the difficulty. Alternatively, investing in a resistance band can allow you to mimic the row movements by anchoring the band around your feet. You might want a strong resistance band for this one. If using a light resistance band, you might find that you can sit there all day doing rows before you get fatigued. If none of those options are available, grab that bag again and go for some one-arm rows. Make sure you keep the back straight 
and perform reps for each side. Whichever method you choose, do three sets and as many reps as possible. I feel like I'm saying this in all my videos, so at the risk of sounding like a broken record, remember that this routine and any workout routine is only going to work if your diet is in check. Trying to lose weight? Eat in a calorie deficit. Trying to gain weight? Eat in a calorie surplus. Going for total body recomposition? Eat around maintenance calories. And no matter what your goal is, stay consistent and give it time. It's not gonna happen overnight. If you need help getting started, go check out some of my other videos and subscribe for future videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.